Well, Facebook is looking to enter the workplace. The company is reportedly developing a new site called Facebook at Work. Joining us now to discuss the social media giant's new product is Mike Prospero, reviews editor at Tom's Guide. Mike, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So Facebook at Work, how does this product potentially differ from regular Facebook? Well, it's actually going to look very similar to regular Facebook, but there's going to be more tools for uh, people at certain companies to collaborate and work together. And what would this, moving into so-called enterprise, what does this strategy mean for Facebook? Well, for one thing, in the short term, it means more revenue. Uh, if you have people using a different service, they can market different things to them and you know, charge enterprise customers money for using this service. And how, how successful do you think this could potentially be in light of that fact? Well, it's very early to tell, but I mean, given the fact that Facebook already has one billion users, being able to use a similar service for work, uh, it's something that they're very comfortable with already, so it has the potential to be very popular. And what do you think some of the biggest potential risks are? I mean, I think of Facebook, I think of the privacy issues the company has faced in, in recent years. I mean, is that an issue? Is security a problem? Well, certainly, that's always going to be a problem whenever you're dealing with a cloud-based system. But it also has to deal with the fact that uh, there's a lot of entrenched uh, companies that are already doing this fairly well. Uh, Microsoft has a big cloud uh, collaboration tools, and Google as well has Google Docs, which obviously is very helpful for collaborating online. And I think you just took the words right out of my mouth. Who would be the biggest competitors for Facebook in this space? You mentioned Google, uh, Microsoft, any other companies? Mm -hmm. Uh, there's other sites like Yammer, um, anything that you can think of that uses uh, uh, collaboration tools online, to, like almost like a little social network uh, to get connect and connect uh, employees from a company. And talking about that, I would imagine LinkedIn will be uh, directly impacted by this potentially as well. Well, Mike Prospero, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day.